The Kanga training craze is here and mums and bubs around the country are getting hooked. Not only is it great baby friendly exercise, it's also good for your mental well-being. Back in the Harvey Norman Lounge to tell us all about it, please welcome back Shirley Teo. Good morning. Hi, how are you doing? Very well. Awesome. So you're back here, you are here last year, weren't last you? Last year, yeah. And last year. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Kanga training. Who, you know, what got you interested in it? Well, for me, um, it was about being able to exercise without putting my Velcro baby into a daycare centre or a crash or anything like that. Literally, if I left her, she just sobbed uncontrollably. Right. So for me, it was really about being able to exercise and keep fit. I suffered from postpartum depression and my doctor recommended exercise as a way to help control that. And um, I went and looked and there was nothing in Auckland kind of like it. So I did the training and it just kind of went from there and it's grown and I've become the country leader. So, so tell me a little bit about Kanga training. What exactly is it? So it's you with your baby. Yeah, so um, it is a low impact exercise program that um, you wear your baby for the majority of the class. We do a little bit of floor work first to help strengthen your core. And then we put the babies into the packs. Um, we're sponsored by Manduka, so we use Manduka, but there's heaps of different ones that you can use. And um, we do a bit of dancing, we do some squats, you know, a little bit of arm exercises, strengthen all the muscles. And so the baby's on the front or on the back? Depends on their age. When they're little, we put them on the front, mm. but once they get bigger, like my girl Quinn, so she's um, nearly three now, I wear her on my back. If I put her on my front, she would take up my whole body. <laughs> she's so massive. And it would be quite good too for your posture, wouldn't it? Because you have to sort of bend at certain ways, and you've got this, you know, this little yeah, baby Yeah, most here. definitely. It definitely helps to strengthen your core from the inside out. We always work from the inside out in Kanga training, so mm. we to strengthen the deep tummy muscles, um, the transverse abdominis, which are another deep muscle, and of course our pelvic floor. <laughs> <laughs> the good old pelvic the floor. The good old pelvic floor, yeah. <laughs> so who's it best for then? It's, it's really best for everyone, every mum. We have dads that come along too. Um, my hubby even comes sometimes and, and has a bit of a boogie. Um, but it's really good for mums that have recently had a baby. Um, we do obviously specialise in helping mums strengthen their core and their pelvic floor. So if they've got a bit of a weak pelvic floor, um, or you know their tummy's a bit sore after they've had a baby, then we can help them out with that. Okay, we're looking at some on. Oh, there we go. Oh so yeah, it's my kanga trainer down in Dunedin. Um, we did a, a dance last year where everyone in the whole of New Zealand did exactly the same dance. Oh wow! Yeah, it was really fun. And I suppose the babies actually quite like it because they're close to them and they're also giving you like you're getting that little jiggle too, so it keeps yeah, them nice so and comfortable. Yeah, so they go to sleep. Most mm. babies go to sleep in class, which is really really awesome. Which is perfect. So it's obviously a little bit about what the mums get out of it. What else do they get out of it? Um, they get friends. Yeah. Um, definitely, they get endorphins. Um, so every time you exercise, you get in a bit of endorphins, and they get a bit stronger, which is nice. So, mm. but mostly, mostly for me. Um, initially, and I'm guessing for most of my mums, it's about the friendship. Some of the friends that I made through Kanga training, you know, like I'm still hanging out with them, my daughter plays with them, and the yeah. kids get stuff too. As they get older, they get to play with the other children, and the big girls um, and boys dance with us sometimes, and they wear like their dollies and little little doll carriers and have a little boogie with us. So. Oh, that's great, because sometimes being a new mum can actually be quite an isolating experience, can't yeah, it? Yeah, especially if you've got no friends that have got, you know, got kids, mm. you, you get really lonely. And it's a good way to get out of the house, get a bit of exercise. Yeah, and it's a very good way to get out of the house. So the Kanka training instructors, are they specially trained in postpartum exercise? They are specially trained. We um, we have a women's health physio, Lisa Yates, who's absolutely amazing, comes along and teaches uh, my instructors all about um, how to teach their mums to exercise safely. And um, then we teach them about baby wearing and how to fit a carrier properly so that they're um, able to help their mums to be safe and exercise safely and that the babies are comfy and safe. Um, they do a course uh, with me and with some of our other ins instructors and tutors and they get taught all about how to be a canker trainer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have to, do they bring their own carriers or do you uh, we have carriers? We have loan carriers available so all the instructors right throughout New Zealand have carriers available so if your carrier um, is not suitable for exercise, which some aren't, mm. unfortunately. Totally fine to wear when you know you're going for a walk around the mall, but not so great for like doing squats and lunges and dancing around <laughs> in. Um, or, or if you don't have a carrier, then they have carriers available. So it's not you don't have to have a carrier to do kanga. Okay, so what happens if your baby is playing up a bit and is not playing ball and it won't come to kanga training with you that day? Do you have any alternatives? Um, yeah, we do. We've got. Well, I, I have an alternative because sometimes my baby doesn't want to do <laughs> kanga with me. So um, this is Harley. This is my little baby. So uh, she weighs about the same. As an average newborn, um, so she's about three and a half kgs. Uh, last time I bought David, who was my big doll, um, and he weighs just under 10 kgs. Can I have a little hold? Yeah, you can. This is exactly what one of my children was at birth, uh, so, oh yeah, oh yeah. yes. Yeah. And she's, to be fair, she's much better behaved than, than my daughter is she's, someday. She's really, <laughs> you've been a very good girl, Harley. Yeah. Um, so, 
fun is obviously very important for the yeah, mimosa as well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we we just did the backpack there. Yeah, sorry. you did. <laughs> when I put her in my carrier, I like jiggle her, and, and I'm like, it's a doll. I don't even need to jiggle her. But <laughs> she's anyway. not going to cry. Yeah, um, yeah. It's totally about fun. Um, we we joke around, we laugh, we have yeah. a giggle, we have a chat um, at the beginning and the end of the class. You know about things that mums might need to talk about or poop <laughs> yeah and and sleep and mm. and how to make a meal quickly and and it's canker training some of your meals with <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's canker training around the country now it is yeah we um we have 18 trainers across new zealand at the moment of course i'd always want more because i want canker training to be available to as many people as possible i've got a new trainer um starting in a couple of weeks starting her classes just south of hamilton yeah. so yeah it's um it's everywhere awesome hey well thank you so much for coming no in Shirley, and pleasure. bringing your incredibly well behaved baby i know um, you much better than the last one. <laughs> I think we had couch jumping last time. It was we great. Did, yeah. uh, you can go to the Kanga Training website, kangatraining.co.nz, for more information and to find your nearest class. So uh, you can join up and get some exercise. Thank you so much, Shirley. Always my pleasure.